Well, good day. This is Dr. Bill White again with the American Orthodontic Society. And I uh, have a case, this only one case in all my career that I found that didn't have big enough teeth to fill up the space in there. And the tongue kept the space out. The person wasn't uh, protrusive at all. They just she just had a large facial structure and the teeth were not big enough to fill it up. So we just put everything together we had here and put two more first bicuspids up above and below too, if I'm not mistaken. And she had a gap over here which we left open and of course put a retainer in that and held it while she got her a bridge or whatever she had had to do to fix it up. So let's let's get started on this and I'll uh, can I explain it as we go along. Now he's she is not protrusive at all. She's got a got a little bit well the facial structure's nice. There's no problem with that at all except that the teeth do not fill the space. So we'll take a Look at the teeth you look at from the front, it's perfectly uh, good. This, this is a good face in the height between the chin and the nose, and the nose is good. And I look at that on a lot of people, and see, and so if you put too much length in this third down there, it just doesn't look good at all. And so you have to learn how to do the blocks if you get that reduced in there, it'd be hard to do. But here, nothing is wrong. We just have the teeth that are too small for the mouth. And so the lady has a gap, and she smiles, and she's got these spaces in there. The teeth are lined up in a pretty good relation. She's chipped when I'm here, and they can do something with that. But we're going to try to pull these teeth together and then put an extra tooth in these spaces right here. Uh, this is on the other side, I think. Seems like we did, we put the cuspids over here and put the extra tooth back behind that. Now, here we go, and this is the right, just looking straight on at it. This is the only case that I had in all these years of treatment that just didn't have room enough, I mean they had too much room uh, for the teeth and the teeth would not fill the gap in there and we saved this part right here and had her, she'll do a bridge on that later on. Okay, here's looking at it from the upper and uh, I don't know whether, the, well she's got a wisdom tooth on this side over here, you can see the wisdom tooth coming in. That didn't have, but maybe this is drifted here. And they're going to put a bridge in this area here, and we'll open this up and put put our bicuspids in there. I don't know if we would, whether we open that one or not. All right, here it is, and we added a tooth right there. Now this one, we added. It looks like we put another lateral instead of a bicuspid. And so we've got a wisdom teeth, everything in here, and we've closed all this space up. And we're going to open that and bring these teeth out further and make room for that tooth to come in. So here we uh, come in, and I don't know, we maybe didn't even, yes, I think we did put the tooth in there. Now, after we got the tooth in, we put two false teeth in there. And these teeth, they're cuspids instead of uh, bicuspids. You just put a plastic tooth, you know, and have it torqued in, and it goes up into the gum. It looks real natural there. And that's the same way we did over on this side here. That gave us a little overjet and everything she needs to fill that tooth there. And we looked, we had a drop down arch coming across here and hold that space open. 
right there. Now on this side, looking at the model, this is Debbie's uh, deal, and this was, these teeth were higher, so we have to straighten this up and get it in here and level this all out like that, which we tried to do, and we got it pretty well leveled out now, and you've got the space, and we'll hold that and we'll make for a retainer with a saddle in here of acrylic until she can get that fixed. Now look at that from the top, that's uh, 1989, and here it is in 1992. So it's about three years that we worked on her face, and I'm sorry we didn't put first buys, it was cuspids. And this is a cuspid tooth, this is a cuspid tooth over on this side, a smaller one, and we just use artificial teeth for that and she could come back and put some kind of implant or, or something to fill that space or you could make a retainer with these teeth in it and just put up with that as long as you want to. Now on the bottom we had this tooth was leaning coming in and it wouldn't drop down we had to straighten that up close all this and put that tooth in there and that's the way we ended up with the case and she's got her wisdom teeth here and up above too that's a mirror that we put in the mouth that allows you to see from the side you know how you fix that and there's a drop down arch which holds that in space and nice place and so we come back and build a retainer that fits fits in that. Now this is a knife edge of, of bone between those teeth. Okay here it is and I don't have a date I can't see it but she's 33 years and six months old at the time and uh, this is she had a little jaw joint problem so we took a picture of this and we brought this out and we brought her jaw forward just slightly in here closing that space and gave her a, got rid of the TMJ problem and these are transcranial x-rays that we did I uh, hear this is uh, <coughs> 1989 and the jaw is, looks good and she didn't have any more problem here. From 81, she's 83, and uh, I mean, 30, age 33, and it's 1989. All right, there are the teeth that way when we started. You see this tooth drop down like that, and we came in, I think, and jacked that tooth up and held it, contacted that tooth. I don't think she ever did anything there. And she could get a bridge made and have an extension, come back and close under that and close the space. So we've got it leveled out now. And it's just a gap there for her to do it. We've added teeth here and uh, on this bottom, on this side, I don't see where the tooth came in. This is 1990. So we did not add anything on the bottom. We just brought it in. We added teeth up here. So I'm sorry I overguessed that, but we used the, the wisdom teeth here. We just closed that up. Over here, I guess, if we had a wisdom tooth, we could have brought it in, but there's a big gap in here, and this may be a wisdom tooth. In fact, it must be a, a two teeth in this area. Right, and this is 1992, and here she is after we finish. And we had the face closed up, and now she can smile, and she's got 
teeth together all the way around. And so that's the way it is. You take the retainer out of the mouth, and you can see those two teeth, the cuspid teeth on the retainer. And that's the way we ended up. And this is uh, like 93. We got a little space right in here. We didn't do the bottom part now. And so it fit together like that. And we put a retainer in there. And now she wears a bottom retainer and an upper retainer with the teeth in. And she wear that and use it as long as until she could get something permanently put in in these areas right here. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, this is the only case I've ever uh, done where I had to add teeth because usually the, the genetics where somebody with a big broad face marries somebody with a skinny facial structure and they inherit the big teeth and try to get them in there. We've had a lot of people like that. And we have to go ahead and take the teeth out and if the skin of the person with the big teeth have a certain skin and you can recognize it on the person with the narrow face and not room enough for the teeth. So thank you for watching and I hope you'll join our group and subscribe to it and, and we'll hope to see you back again. So thank you again and I'm going to close out here. And there's her retainer. She's got it going good. And there it is, the retainer with the lower with this acrylic saddle in it. We just made that. And she put that in the upper retainer. I don't think I, yeah, we have got a picture of that. And it has a couple of teeth in the upper retainer. And I think this is the teeth right here. People wear their retainer. Boy, well, you got to get there. You don't have to worry about them wearing a retainer. So I'm going to close out. Thanks again, and we'll look forward to seeing you later.